Hello and welcome back to another Keep Moving with Emily. I'm Emily, your adaptive fitness trainer helping you keep moving. And today we are doing a dynamic interval workout from a seated position. You are always welcome to stand if that feels good for you. I have like three different sets of hand weights because with our intervals, I'm gonna encourage you to do a little bit of like pyramid-esque um, type of a workout where you start with heavy and then you get lighter. But if that's not an option for you, stick with what you've got and let's do this. So I want you to take a seat and let's get nice and warm. Inhale those arms up overhead and exhale, couple shoulder rolls. As we do our warm up, I just want you to check in with your body, see how you're feeling today. You know, if we're experiencing any, anything, whether that's maybe we're coming here and our mood is kind of meh. Hopefully by the end of this workout, you'll feel more energized, maybe a bit of a mood booster. If we're experiencing any pain or spasticity or numbness or tingling, just recognize that. Let that kind of inform you how you're gonna to move today. Let's open up those arms nice and big. If you wanna add in that foot, go for it. Good, if we're experiencing any fatigue today, it's okay, give yourself permission to slow down if you need to. Um, but yeah, we're gonna get in some interval training today. It's gonna to be super fun. Nice, last one here. Swing arms up and down with a little bit of a hinge forward, bringing your chest towards those thighs. Nice. Swooping the hands up and down, warming up the shoulders. Perfect. Let's go for four more. Four, three, two, good. And one, nice. Let's do a little bit of a twist, reaching across the body. If this is too much, just make your range of motion a little bit smaller. Nice. We're gonna get that blood pumping. We're gonna get this body warm. You're gonna get in a full body workout in less than 30 minutes. I think that sounds like a pretty good deal. Let's reach those arms up and over. Nice little reach overs. Reach and stretch. Uh, if this is too fast, you can always slow it down. Good. Perfect. And nice, let's warm up those legs. So grab underneath the knee, pull the knee in, rotate in the ankle, point and flex the toe, and switch. Pull it up, rotate. So pretty much how today's workout's gonna work, as we continue to warm up and stretch, um, we have three rounds. It's gonna go 40 second interval, then 30 second interval, then 20 second interval, and we're gonna do the same exercise those three rounds. So you'll really get some neuroplasticity going, really getting those nerves firing to those muscles. Um, lots of repetition, which is always good. Nice, all right, and rest. All right, let's get those legs nice and wide. We're going for windmills. Good, touching opposite hand to opposite ankle or knee, up to you. You can also tap the foot. Good. Keep it up. Starting to get that blood pumping a little bit, working the brain. Yep. Four, three, two, and a one. Nice. Let's just kind of get some nice rope climbs in. Let's go for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Let's reach it down to the side for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. All right, I hope you are ready. I'm gonna put um, our first kind of round up. You've got five separate exercises. Again, we're doing each exercise three times through. You'll kind of get the hang of it, but those exercises are coming up on the screen. Grab a swig of water, make sure you got your weights, and let's keep moving. All right, friends, here we go. Exercises are up on the screen. Round one, we're working for 40 seconds, resting for 20. Then we're working for 30, resting for 15. Then working for 20 and resting for 10. Those first two exercises are gonna be kind of back to back. So I'm gonna show you real quick. We're going cross curl, so opposite hand to opposite shoulder with the knee. So you can either go curl, curl, knee, knee, or add in the curl and the knee. That's kind of up to you. Um, so essentially we're doing that for three rounds and then we're going lateral raise with a heel tap. You can add them together. Add, that's more coordination. If that's too much, lateral raise, 
heel tap trying to cross over our body. Cool? Grab those weights. See if you can start with heavy weights first. We're sitting up nice and tall. If we are standing, you're gonna go cross curl, cross curl, knee, march. Cool? Or you can go opposite and opposite. Have fun with it. Are you ready? The whistle's gonna blow. We're working for 40 seconds first, resting for 20, then working for 30, resting for 15, working for 20. You ready? Roll those shoulders down and back. We're curling our weight, working those biceps. Bring it to your opposite shoulder. You ready? Let's go. All right, so curl, yep, curl, knee, knee. Nice. We're going opposite arm. Good, curl across the body, working those biceps. Now, if you wanna make it more challenging, add the knee with the bicep curl. Can you do opposite knee? Nice, good, that's standing option. We curl, curl, knee, knee, nice. Keep it up. Core is nice and strong. Make sure we breathe. Good, rest. All right, one down, two to go. We're working for 30 seconds this time. Same idea, curl, curl, knee, knee, or do them together, ready? Roll those shoulders down and back. Catch your breath, get your body ready. And you never know, maybe I'll throw in some, uh, some additional things. So, cross curl, cross curl, knee, knee, nice. We're working those biceps, We're working the lower body, Working our core, your challenge is can you do opposite knee with that opposite arm? Yep, here we go. Standing option, more challenging for the balance. It's so good. Let's go, keep it up. Rest. One more round of these and you won't see them again. This time I'm gonna challenge you. We're gonna go two to the right, two to the left, okay? And then you're going to those knees. Can you keep the knee with the curl together. You ready, ready, ready? Let's go. So we're gonna go two to the right, two to the left. Or we're going two, two, four knee marches. One, two, three, four, yep. Curl, curl. Let's go. We're pumping out those arms and rest. Good. All right, moving on to that lateral raise. Heel tap, lateral raise, heel tap. You know what, I forgot to switch my weights. If you lowered them, awesome. I'm sticking with my heavy weights till I can't no more. Here we go. Lateral raise, heel tap, lateral raise, heel tap. Now, these are heavy weights and these muscles we're working are not the strongest. So if this gets too heavy, you can always lower it. Good. Now your challenge, add that heel tap as you lateral raise. If we're standing, it can be here. Good. Or lateral raise, heel tap. Good. Nice, I am dropping these weights. They're too heavy. Woo! I'm gonna move on to my five pound weights. Same thing, lateral raise, heel tap. Roll those shoulders down and back. We're working the tops of those shoulders. We're working our brain as we cross the foot across our body with that heel tap. You ready? Let's go. Lateral raise, heel tap, lateral raise. Now, if you want this a little bit easier, bend those arms. It's just a little bit of a shorter distance. Good, just like so. Nice. Do you feel this in your core? Do you feel this in those shoulders? Yeah. Let's go. This song makes me want to dance. Let's go. We're only here for 30 seconds. Are those shoulders on fire? Yeah. All right, we got 20 seconds to go. If you want to drop those weights even more, go for it or no weights at all. All right, are you ready? Two lateral raises, two heel taps. So we're gonna go lateral raise, lateral raise, heel tap, heel tap, nice. Add a little bit of like dance flair. Good. Nice. Keep it up. If this is too much, 
stick with what you've been doing. Yep. Good. And rest. Okay. Here's where we're going to kind of rest a little bit, shake out those shoulders, shake out those arms, grab some water. We're moving on to weighted punches. So these ones, you can have tennis balls in your hands, one pound weights in your hands, whatever feels good to you. I'll probably do my two and a half pounds. If the weights are too heavy, don't use the weights then. We're just gonna be here. Nice weighted punches, okay? Cool. I may add some flavor, but know that we'll actually see punches again later. So I encourage you to try those weights. Maybe start with heavy, then go lower. Cool? All right, grab a big, take a big breath in and a big breath out, grab a swig of water. We'll be back in one moment. All right, I hope you grabbed your swig of water because we got three rounds up. So it's gonna go weighted punches, same thing, right? Then we're going leg extension, press forward. So this one, you're only gonna need one weight. We're gonna go press as we kick that foot out, just like so. If you wanna do this one standing, you're gonna stand, press it forward, sit, press it forward. Cool? And then we're going crossover presses. So we're reaching up across our body, pressing it up, working those shoulders. Three rounds of those. Are we ready? Let's see, weighted punches. I think I'm gonna go with five pounds. You decide what you wanna do. Weighted punches, get ready, let's go. Work hard. Work hard is what they say. So we're just gonna go nice, strong punches. This first round is all about muscular endurance. So we may feel a little bit more fatigued, especially if we're using heavier weight. So we're not going for speed necessarily. Good. Keep it up. Keep it up. Nice strong punches. We're here for 40 seconds. Conserve that energy because we got two more rounds. Nice. Rest. You can stick with this same weight or lower the weight. That's what I'm gonna do. Going from five pounds to two and a half pounds. If we're doing this standing, I want you to try to sink it into a little bit of a squat as you punch it out, okay? Here we go, get ready. Add in a little bit of boogie right here. Let's go. Work harder. If you wanna stick with the beat, you totally can. Keep that core nice and strong. Punching it out, extending that arm all the way. You're gonna feel this in those triceps, biceps, shoulder, and core. Yeah? Good. You can add in a little bit of footwork if you want. Hamstring curls, whatever you want. Rest. Guess what? We've Rest. got 20 seconds left of work with these weighted punches. Then we're moving on to those leg extensions or squats. Here we go. Last round, best round, 20 seconds hard. Punches, here we go. Work hardest. This is where we work the hardest, but I know you've been working hard. Let's go. Breathe. Core is strong. Arms are strong. Extend those arms all the way out. Come on. What are you fighting right now? We're gonna take it out right here. Nice. All right, we're going for leg press. extension with that front press. So grab that heavy weight. Every time we press, we either do that leg extension or when you stand, you press, you sit, you press. Ready? Let's go. Work hard. Here's your seated option. If the leg extension doesn't work for you, you can also do leg extension, press, leg extension, press, or we're standing and pressing, sitting and pressing. Yeah? Working chest, back, triceps, and lower body. Nice compound movement here. Let's go. If you can do both at the same time, lift the leg and press forward. You are really working the brain. Let's go. Woo! Drop that weight if you want a lower weight. Shake those shoulders out. Nice little stretch. Get your mind right. We got 30 seconds. Let's go. Wait, is that our chest? We're pressing it forward, lifting the leg, or sitting and standing with the press. Let's go. Work harder. 
Another thing I want to challenge you to do is if you're holding the weight like this, I really want you to press. Ooh, now you feel it, huh? Good, we're working the chest. Core is strong. Yeah, let's go. This is a very shoulder heavy five rounds. You got it. Nice. Rest. Last round, 20 seconds. You can stick with your five pounds or whichever weight you've got or go for lower. This little pyramid is kind of a fun way to change it up a bit. Still doing the work, just lower. Here we go. Squeeze in the back of the arms, squeeze in the chest, squeeze in those quads. Core is nice and strong. Come on, friends, I'm here with you. I feel the burn. Don't worry, we'll make sure to stretch after all of this and rest. All right, last one, crossover punches. We're not crossover press, Rest. crossover presses. So we're pressing it up to the sky. I'm gonna start with five pounds. If you wanna add in the leg as you press, that leg reaches out. Good. Reach it up and across. Holy core, right? Yeah. And shoulders, standing option. We're here. Press. Press. We're working obliques. We're working those shoulders. We're working the lats and the glutes and the hips. All of the things, let's go. See, I'm not going super fast. Nice, slow and controlled movement. Let's go. Party Rock Anthem. You can stay with this weight or go lower. That's up to you. Shake it out, stretch out those arms. We're going for 30 seconds. Are we ready? Let's do it. Get ready, get ready. Let's go. Work press. I really want you to try to reach as you press. If that's still too much, you can always do a single shoulder press. That's fine too, but I want you to try here. We're gonna have some fun in the next round. Let's go. We party rock. Let's go. Nice, okay, we got 20 seconds left. This time, two to the right, two to the left. Are you ready, are you ready? Seated or standing, you decide. 20 seconds of work. Let's go, let's go. Weights are up by your shoulders. Two to the right, two to the left. Come on. We're only here for 20 seconds. You've got this. Let's go. You're almost finished. And rest. Let's grab some water. And we are moving on to our next set of exercises. All right, welcome back friends. New workout up on the screen or new exercises. First one. Hamstring curl, hamstring curl, two push-ups, okay? Then we're going two reverse flies, hinging forward, chest is towards our thighs, two rows. Two reverse flies, two rows. You can sit up after you do those rows each time, and then we're going for punches, no weights, total cardio. It's gonna be super fun. So grab your weights. I'm going for my lighter weights. Hamstring curl, hamstring Work curl, hard. two push-ups. So curl, curl, Push up, push up. You can go single weight or two weights. Good, hamstring curl, hamstring curl, two push ups. Other option standing, curl, curl, push and push. Yeah. This is gonna require a little bit more balance if we're standing. We're working those hamstrings, really pulling that toe underneath our chair, and then we're working the chest and the back. Let's go. If the weight gets too heavy, drop it to one. Curl, curl. Rest. Press, press. Nice. Options. Stick with this one weight or go lower weights. Still with those push-ups. You got this. I think I'm gonna stick with my one weight now and then I'll go for two weights the next one. We're going for 30 seconds. You decide 
those hamstring curls, pulling that toe underneath the chair. Curl, curl. Good, you can keep arms out if you want and do that push up. Working that core some more. Yeah, more challenging, right? You gotta do a little bit of an isolation hold. Let's go. Curl, curl. Your other option, kind of curl at a little bit of an angle. Yep, standing option. Curl, curl. Nice. Rest. Perfect. Last round, 20 seconds. I'm going with my lighter weights. Two hands. We got this. 20 seconds, friend. We got this. You ready? Weights are up. Nice, strong arms. Work hardest. Curl, curl. You can also, ooh, what if we just stay here? Nice hamstring curl. Let's go. Option is here. Let's go. Maybe we go for singles. Last 20. Oh, and rest. Nice. We're going for reverse fly for rest. two, rows for two. So I'm hinged forward, chest is towards those thighs, weights down by my side, slight bend in the elbows. Back is flat. Open up nice and big. Two, and then two rows, pulling those elbows back, weights towards my hip pocket. And then you can sit up nice and tall. Hinge forward, reverse fly for two, rows for two, and up. Good. Standing option, we're here. Row. Yep. And then stand. Nice little break. Reverse fly. Open up those elbows. Squeeze the shoulder blades. Nice. Let's go. Woo! Nice. Good little stretch. Roll out those shoulders. We're going for the same thing. Two more rounds. This time we're going for 30 seconds. Are you ready? You want to drop those weights, make it a little bit lower? Go for it. Get ready. We're hinging forward. Back is nice and flat. Weights down by my side. Nice, slow and controlled. Slight bend in those elbows. And then that row, pull the elbows back, squeeze in the shoulder blades, weights come to our hip pocket. And then that reverse fly again. Good. I keep forgetting, you can also sit up. Nice little break. Good. Reverse fly. Woo, holy back. We're working those postural muscles. Rest. Yeah. All right, you can drop the weights. Lower the weights. You decide this is your workout, which means however you're feeling today, you get to, you get to manage that intensity. Here we go. I'm gonna finish this last round standing. Rose next. Good, and then I'm gonna stand and squeeze those glutes, so from the side. Well, hello, Angus. Welcome. Two rows. Squeezing the glutes and stand. We're almost finished. Ooh. And rest. I want you to drop those weights. We're going for punches. Y'all, punches. This is where we're gonna get that cardio going. I really want you to keep moving as much as you can. We're starting with nice, quick punches. Straight in front, let's go. Really quick. Good. If we're in a squat, you can also sidestep if we're standing. Good, I want you to keep moving. Keep moving, keep moving. Across the body, let's go. Up high, let's go. Down low. High to low, let's go. Up and down, up and down, good. If we're seated, I like to kind of punch in between those legs and high, good. Rest. All right, we're gonna march it out during our rest. This is where we're gonna get that cardio up there, nice. We got punches for 30 seconds. We're going single, single, double. So right, left, right, right, left, right, left, left. Work the brain, let's go. You ready? Hands are up. Come on. Let's go. Single, single, double. Single, single, double. Let's go. You can go high. You can go low. You can go right in the middle. Let's go. Good. Nice. 
Keep it up. I want you to punch across the body this time. Punch, punch. Good. Right, left. Good. Woo! Rest. All right, marching it out, jogging it out. Let's go. 20 seconds left. We're gonna have fun with this one. We might have some hooks, uppercuts, or some jabs and some crosses. Are you ready? Jab, cross. Let's go right here. Hooks. Out to the side. Hook, 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 hook. Uppercuts. Right here. Nice and quick. Nice and quick. Finish strong real fast. Straight ahead. Punch, punch, punch. Let's go, let's go. Come on. Punch, punch, punch. Three, two, one, and rest. We're gonna take a quick water break. Rest. Grab some water. I'm gonna give you about, I don't know, 30 seconds rest. And then we're gonna finish these last two exercises. So we're going lat pull, knee raise. So as I pull, I'd love for that knee to come up. If that doesn't work, maybe we do a heel tap. We're squeezing in those shoulder blades, pulling the elbows back. That's one exercise. Another one is a hacky sack jack, some more cardio. If that doesn't work for you, you can go for those windmills. But I'm gonna let you grab some water and we'll be right back. All right, friends, grab those weights and let's do this. I'm gonna start with my pink weights. As you pull, elbows down, knee comes up if we can. Arms up, here we go. Pull, knee comes up. Pull, knee comes up. Or, I'm extending that foot out. Good, pull elbows down and back, push those arms up. Nice. Good. We have three rounds, remember. This one's gonna be our hardest round. Muscular endurance, keep going. Other option, maybe I step a foot back. Work the, work the balance. Good. Keep it up or I'm lifting a knee. Oh, holy balance, right? Rest. All right. My next round, I'm going for my lighter weights. My shoulders are starting to feel it. This is when we start to listen to our body. If our form starts to go, I want you to stay safe. You can go without weights if you need to, all right? Here we go, we got 30 seconds. Seated or standing, you decide. Let's go. Pull those elbows down and back. Core is strong. Are you sitting up nice and tall? Yeah? Good. Keep working. Standing option. Again, maybe I tap a foot back. Or I bring a knee up. Let's go. Pull it down. Just think we've got a 20 second round left. And we'll finish with Rest. some cardio. All right, last round, 20 seconds. I'm going without weights. What are you doing? You gonna challenge yourself? You gonna add those weights? Let's go. Here we go. Big arms up. Pull those shoulders back. I'm gonna work my balance. I'm gonna work those shoulders. Good. If this doesn't work for you, tap that foot back. If that doesn't work for you, we're here. Pull. Or drive that knee up. Yes. All right, friends. We're on to our final round before we do a little bit of core. We're gonna do hacky sack jacks. Tap that foot or reach it down, or standing option, here. Yeah? Let's go. Work hard. So, you're either touching opposite hand to opposite foot or opposite knee, or we're here. If that doesn't work for you, we're going for those windmills. Sit up nice and tall each time. Arms are nice and big. You should feel winded by the end of this round. Good, let's go. You can also do good old jumping jacks. Or tap, tap. Yeah? Let's go. Woo! Rest. March it out. We're not resting, but if you need it, take it. But we're jogging in place. We're marching in place. We got those hacky sack jacks again. 30 seconds this time, let's go. We got this, we got this. 
start feeling sweaty. Let's go. Another great option for a standing option if lifting the leg doesn't work for you, a nice ice skater, shifting weight from side to side, pushing that booty back, touching that opposite hand to the opposite knee. I love this option, especially if we have balance problems or challenges with balance, but we still wanna move and we still wanna stand. It's a great one. I'm still working my brain as I touch opposite hands, opposite knee as I shift weight from side to side. Good, let's go. Maybe we're marching in place. Maybe we're just marching those arms. You've got 20 seconds left. Feel free to do those quick jacks. Nice and quick. Maybe that's what I'll do final. 20, quick jacks. Let's go. Really get that heart rate up there, come on. Other option, seal jacks. Or you're doing that hacky sack, let's go. I want you to speed it up if you can. Come on. Yep. Finish strong, finish strong. Rest. Woo! Reach those arms forward. Rest. Open up those arms. All right, we got a little core finisher. Stretch it out and call it a day. Keep those weights handy, because we're gonna be doing some weighted sit-ups, so get ready. All right, friends, here's how it's gonna work. Three rounds, three different exercises. Round number one for 40 seconds, starfish. Touch those ankles, open up nice and big, crunch it forward. Round two, that 30 second interval, we're going for weighted sit-ups, elbows to knees, touch those shoulder blades to the back of your chair. Last one, our reaches, reaching right to left. Start with those starfish, 40 seconds. Are you ready? Here we go. Inhale, open up arms big, exhale, crunch forward. You can also incorporate the legs. Big arms up, exhale forward as we crunch, bringing the chest towards the thighs, yeah? Let's go. Use that breath. Super important with core work. Let's go. Perfect. Hang on to it. Rest. Grab your Rest. weight, preferably a heavy one. Hold it at your chest, and we're gonna start now, just because we're gonna get a little spicy. We're going inhale back, exhale, elbows to knees, let's go. I know we should be resting, but this is our core finisher. We're gonna stay strong, yeah? Let's go. Inhale back, exhale forward. That final round, we're doing those reaches. Arms are on that T position. Right now we're doing these weighted sit-ups. Finishing with the nice little oblique work. Some core stability, trunk stability. Are you breathing? Inhale back, exhale forward, elbows to knees. Let's go. Finish strong, my friends. Good, drop that weight. Last right. round, arms are out. Feet are nice and wide. I'm reaching straight like this, reaching side to side. Let's go. Go on ahead and get started. You should feel this in those obliques. And you should be as if you're like on a table, just moving side to side. Only our top half is moving. You notice I'm staying parallel with the ground. That's the trick. Maybe our stability is only here. That's fine. Or we really reach. Come on, we're only here for less than 20 seconds. And voila, we're done. You did it. So strong. Make sure you take that flexing selfie and tag me in it. Let me see what you're doing, but we are gonna stretch it out and call it a day. So if you're ready, let's go. Oh, friends, we did it. Let's take a big breath in up overhead. Checking back in with that body. How are we feeling? Exhale it out, open up that chest. Feels so good in those shoulders. Did we come feeling a little meh? Are we feeling like woohoo now? Hopefully, we got that blood pumping, we got those endorphins going. Good, round in the back, reach arms forward. Maybe we're feeling a little bit looser in our muscles. You know, it's amazing what exercise does for us, not only physically, but mentally and emotionally as well. Good, shake out those arms, nice. Inhale, arms up overhead. Let's grab one wrist gently, 
pull it over, feels good in those shoulders, those lats. If this is too much, you can also reach it over. Good. Couple big breaths in and out. Good, inhale, arms up. Gently pull that other wrist to the side or place the hand on the chair and reach it over. I don't know about you, but my arms are shaky. Yeah, feeling it. Nice, big breath in and out. Nice, let's do a nice little spinal twist as we breathe in. Twist it across the body. Looking over that shoulder, good. If I want a little bit more of a chest stretch, I reach that arm that's reaching towards the back of the wall. Nice chest stretch here. Like waving to the person behind you. If we were in class together. Good, take a big breath in. Exhale and twist to the other side. Again, if you wanna reach that arm back towards the back wall. So good. Ah. <sighs> Big breath in and out. Let's bring arms open wide, pull fingertips up to the ceiling. Nice stretch in the forearms. Exhales, one arm comes across the body, hug that arm to your chest and rotate in the wrist. Good. Feels good, nice stretch down that shoulder, open up the arms nice and wide, pull fingertips up. Exhale, other arm comes across our body. Good. And exhale, shake it out. Let's stretch out this lower body of ours. So grab underneath one knee, pulling the knee up towards our chest, rotate in the ankle, point and flex the toe. Good. As we pull that knee in, big breath in, exhale, lengthen leg long and hinge forward. Nice stretch in the hamstring. Good. Just feel a nice stretch in the back of that leg. Pulling that toe up, feeling it in the calf if you're able to stretch that far. Good, and pull that knee up. Placing the ankle on top of the thigh. Big breath in, exhale, hinge forward. As we stretch it out, as you're checking back in with your body, I also want you to just kind of meditate on gratitude. Like, What are we thankful for today? What is it today that we're thankful for? I think sometimes we can often get caught up in all the things that are going wrong or the things we're overwhelmed with, but sometimes shifting that focus to like what we're thankful for helps. So what am I thankful for today? <sighs> thankful for a body that is able to move today, that I had the energy to exercise, pull that knee in, and place the foot onto the floor. Good, let's grab that other knee up. Rotate the ankle. Hmm, what else am I thankful for? I was thankful for cool weather this morning. Watching the sunrise was pretty cool too. So think about that as we stretch. Exhale, lengthen long, leg long, heels on the ground, toes pointed up and reach. As we think about like what we're thankful for, I also want you to think of the why. You know, like why am I thankful for breath in my lungs today? Because I get to experience today and the beautiful sunset that will never happen again in that exact same way. That's pretty cool. I don't know if you journal. I love journaling. Pull that knee up, ankles on top of the thigh. But those are the kinds of things we should record and write down. Because on those days that are hard, it's sometimes really hard to like pull us out of that. And so when we shift it to like what we're grateful for, just writing those things down, even like three things we're grateful for today can maybe help shift that mood. So I encourage you, journal. You never know. Maybe I'll create a journal for you to use. We'll see. Good. Oh, nice stretch in those glutes. Feels good. Well, friends, we've done it. We've come to the end of our workout and we did it, full body workout. 
fun dynamic intervals. One more big breath in out to the sky. Exhale it out. Show those muscles because you are stronger than MS or whatever challenge you are facing. Thank you so much for joining me. Don't forget to like and subscribe and follow so you know when the latest videos come out. Um, and I will see you at another Keep Moving with Emily. Bye.